This is Top 30. Coming up, the new year means higher prices on hundreds of medications. Braces may soon be a thing of the past, and you won't believe how much dogs are making on Instagram. Hi there, welcome to the show. I'm Kristen Smith, and here are 30 things you need to know right now. Colorado is currently the worst state for the flu, with the highest rate of flu activity, landing more than 570 people in the hospital since October. Health officials and the CDC warn that flu activity on the whole is increasing and could peak as late as February. So there's still time to get your flu shot. And California became the first state to ban the sale of non-rescued animals in pet stores when the new law took effect January 1st. Pet store owners face a $500 fine per animal if they don't provide paperwork proving the pet is from a shelter. And finally, when a Krispy Kreme donut truck caught fire, police officers in Kentucky decided to make the most of it. They took photos where they appeared to be in tears mourning the loss of every cop's favorite snack, donuts. They tweeted the photos with the caption, no words. No one was hurt. The truck was actually empty at the time, so the photos were all taken in good fun. Now let's go to the New York Stock Exchange for our Fox Business Minute with Christina Parts and Avalis. Christina, a number of prescription drugs just got pricier. That's right, Kristen. The prices seem to be climbing. Drug makers ringing in the new year with price hikes on their products. As of January 1st, some big name companies are increasing prices, some exceeding the price of inflation. Allergan setting the pace with increases of almost 10% on more than two dozen products and a nearly 5% increase on 24 other products. GlaxoSmithKline confirming it raised products on the price of 36 drugs. And now that Christmas is over, we're getting a look at the most returned gifts of the 2018 holiday season. Among the top 10, women's shirts with bell sleeves and boots with fringes and small framed glasses. In the children's category, doll sales are down surprisingly as moms were more interested in having their daughters play with superheroes than with traditional dolls. And this is a good one. Would you eat airline food at home? United Airlines is selling the Polaris cookbook containing 40 recipes inspired by the airline's business and first class dining menu. The airline collaborated with the Trotter Project, which is a nonprofit that offers culinary arts education programs and is associated with many famous chefs around the world. So if we want to eat first class at home, where are these recipes available? Well, if you like the culinary food that you can get in business and first class, you can get the cookbook for $29.99 on United's online shop, Kristen. All right, good to know. Thanks, Christina. Time now for the New York Minute with Rosanna Scotto from Fox 5 New York. So, Rosanna, good to see you. For some New Yorkers, I know 2019 got off to a very chilly start. Well, some people might consider this a dumb idea. Others are exhilarated by it. On Tuesday, some 3,800 people threw themselves into the frigid waters of the Atlantic Ocean during the annual Coney Island polar bear plunge. Some came dressed as babies, Santa, polar bears. They were in and out of the icy waters to start 2019 cleansed and refreshed. Now, despite the freezing water, the weather at Coney Island hit 59 degrees, just shy of an all-time high of 62 back in 1966. Now, the plunge is in its 115th year. It raises money for local nonprofits and charities like the Alliance for Coney Island and the New York Aquarium. So it's win-win, and some people say there are health benefits to it as well, you know? It really gets that metabolism revving up. <laughs> Get that resolution started for 2019. So, Rosanna, just to keep it moving, the arrival of a new year isn't the only thing people are celebrating. Some people are really blessed. A new year, a newborn. In the race to become the first new New Yorker of 2019, bragging rights go to one baby born just seven seconds after the stroke of midnight. Born to parents Eli and Adina Derdick at Long Island Jewish Medical Center, the baby boy, we don't know the name yet, the nurses, though, are calling him 007, get it? Seven <laughs> seconds after midnight. <laughs> now running a close second is Dion Carpuzzi. He was born uh, 30 seconds into 2019. Now the mayor's office is weighing in. They are recognizing another baby as New York City's first. Genesis Alyssa Noriega, born at 12.56 a.m. after over 15 hours of labor. Wow. You know what? I don't care how long it takes. What a joy. What a blessing. <laughs> right, 2019 starting on the right foot and with the tax write-off too.
So that's I, good. Can't beat that. <laughs> Rosanna, always great to talk to you. Thank you. All right, moving right along. Braces could be a thing of the past. That's some good news. Thanks to modern science and development, there's a rise in less noticeable methods to straighten your teeth than traditional metal braces. Clear teeth aligners like Invisalign are on the rise, and the number of users has tripled in the last five years, with an estimated 1.3 million people using them. Some startups offer clear teeth straightening treatments for as little as $2,000, while others run upwards of $5,500, whereas braces, which are totally visible and can cut your lips and cheeks and be painful, average five to $6,000. Straight teeth have been proven to boost your personal confidence, relationships, and even job prospects. In addition to the money you can save using aligners, users like that, unlike braces, you can take them off for short periods like eating and drinking. It's not surprising, business is booming. Now let's go to Danielle Knox from Fox 35 Orlando. She has what you need to know today. So Danielle, I hear parents are spending a lot of time fighting with their kids. Well, Kristen, how many times do you think parents have argued with their kid before that child turns 18? Get this, more than 4,200 times with an average of five fights per week. So what's everybody getting so upset over? Household chores leads the pack, followed closely by homework and bedtime. Parents win the battle 60% of the time, but 66% admit to bribing their children with dessert, extra screen time, or staying up late. UN climate agency officials say more than 8 million tons of plastic end up in the ocean every year. That is the equivalent of one garbage truck of plastic dumping into the ocean per minute. And so now the UN is calling for all nations to ban single-use plastics like water bottles, for example. Well, bringing home the bacon, killing two birds with one stone, and letting the cat out of the bag, all phrases that we've been using really for generations now, right? Well, now vegans are putting their spin on popular meat-based sayings like bring home the bacon, now being called bringing home the broccoli. The idea here is to make the phrases more animal friendly. So listen, if a bull is coming after me like a bull in a china shop, I'm still going to try to take that bull by the horns, or better yet, maybe just run. <laughs> and that's what you need to know. Kristen, let's go back to you now. All right, great reporting. Thanks, Danielle. Chances are you follow some cute dogs on Instagram, and while their posts are adorable, those animals and their humans are raking in major bucks. So much so that now there's an entire talent management company dedicated exclusively to pet influencers. The dog agency was started by Lonnie Edwards, a Harvard-educated lawyer and entrepreneur who first stepped into the pet influencer business when she started posting pictures of her French bulldog, Chloe. Chloe started to build a sizable fan base, and Lonnie realized that other humans needed help managing their pets' brands. So the dog agency was born. Lonnie now has over 160 clients, mostly dogs, along with some cats and monkeys. She consults with their humans on brand management and growth strategy and books them sponsored posts, ad campaigns, and in-person appearances. Depending on how many followers the pet has, they can earn thousands of dollars per post. Lonnie helps manage some of Instagram's most popular pet accounts, like Tuna Melts My Heart, Heart, Crusoe the Dachshund, The Doggist, and Harlow and Sage. And she said even human-facing brands like to partner with pet influencers because they're an adorable alternative to controversy-prone humans. And still ahead, we check out a popular iPhone shortcut. And castle renting is on the rise. Don't go anywhere. Top 30 will be right back. Welcome back to Top 30. A single mistake on your job hunt could cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars. ZipRecruiter found that not negotiating a better salary at a new position can cost workers up to $750,000 over their career. The report found that 64% of job seekers accept the first number quoted to them. Those who do negotiate get another five grand a year on average. That adds up to far more when it's used as a basis for cost of living increases and other raises. Someone who negotiated up from $40,000 to $45,000 and got a 5% raise every year would make three quarters of a million bucks more over their career. So why don't more people negotiate? Four in 10 say that worries about money make them feel like they have to accept a first offer. ZipRecruiter's labor economist says it is very unlikely negotiating will lead to an offer disappearing. 
Some employers take negotiations as a sign of confidence, as long as they're reasonable. Let's go to Carrie Lake from Fox 10 Phoenix for this week's Life Hacks. So Carrie, great to see you. What do you have for us? Hi, Kristen. Well, we're starting today with one of my pet peeves. When people clip their nails and the clippings go everywhere, that doesn't have to happen and all you need is a little bit of tape. You take a piece of tape and you put it on both sides of the clipper. And then you clip your nails and when you're done, all those nail clippings are stuck right in here. Next, don't you hate it when your bananas go ripe too quickly? Well, there's a way you can slow that ripening process down and all you need is a little bit of tin foil. You tear it into little pieces like this and you just wrap it along the top edge of the banana right here and that'll prevent it from getting too yellow or brown too quickly. And finally, if you're like me, you want to remember the things you need before you head out to the grocery store. If you have a dry erase pen, you can just write on the refrigerator what you need. We're out of eggs, milk, and cream. And then you know what you need as you head out the door. And it's real simple to erase like that. Back to you, Kristen. As always, great tips. Thanks, Carrie. Listen to this. According to new research, a majority of American teenagers have been bullied online. The Pew Research Center found that 59% of U.S. teens have experienced some form of online harassment. 42% said they'd been the subject of name calling. It was the most common form of bullying. 32% of teens had false rumors spread about them. A quarter of teens received explicit images they hadn't asked for. Girls were more likely than boys to be the target of multiple forms of harassment. A majority of teenagers said their parents were doing a good job addressing the issue, but that wasn't true of all adults. One Pew researcher said, young people have an especially negative view of the way politicians are tackling the issue of cyberbullying. The Department of Health and Human Services recommends parents take note if their teen's mood changes, talk to them about cyberbullying, and document and report harassment by taking screenshots. Experts also say to monitor how much time teens spend online. You know, we can do so much with virtual reality, like take a tour of Venice from our couch. But now Google wants to bring customers to the art world. The Arts and Culture app allows users to take virtual reality tours through art galleries all over the world. The tech giant has collaborated with over 1,200 international museums, galleries, and institutions from 70 countries to make their exhibits available for everyone online. Users can explore artwork by filtering by color or even time period. You just download the app and grab a Google Cardboard viewer to experience these tours in full. You can scroll to the virtual tour section and click on any tour to launch. Users can take a tour of the Freer and Sackler galleries in Washington, D.C., the Munch Museum in Oslo, Norway, the 10 Downing Street Museum in London, and last but not least, the White House, just to name a few. And the best part, all this right from your couch. Well, if you love having curled hair but hate how long it takes, today's Top 30 Steel is for you. We have an InStyler Tulip Auto Curler at a special 61% discount. Curling your hair has never been so fast and easy. Tulip's innovative automatic curling technology lets you relax while it does all the work. With the tap of a button, you can have the perfect curls every time. The open ceramic barrel is designed with anti-tangle technology. There are three rotation settings to curl left, curl right, or alternate. It comes with three heat settings to accommodate all hair types. And there are also three timer settings to help you achieve a variety of looks from beachy waves to tight curls. Plus, there's a safety guard for burn free styling. The InStyler Tulip Auto Curler retails for as much as $100, but today you can buy it for just $39. That's a 61% discount. And you can get this right now at morningsave.com while they last. Welcome back. Moms tend to wear a lot of hats, right? They're sometimes chefs, nurses, chauffeurs, teachers, and not to mention cheerleaders. But in this case, mom is a matchmaker. According to an article by ABC News, Charisma, a University of Texas San Antonio student, and her roommates were in a grocery store when they began talking to a woman about puppies. The conversation later turned into the woman trying to recruit a girlfriend for her son. The student took to Twitter saying, if your name 
name is Cody. You're 6'4". You go to UTSA, live at the Outpost, a sophomore and majoring in global affairs. Your mom is truly your wingman. She just showed my roommates and I your picture at HEB trying to find you a girlfriend. Well, that tweet stacked up more than 62,000 likes and more than 4,000 retweets. But it may have worked because Cody and Christina actually hung out. Now, we aren't sure if sparks were flying, but if so, it'll be all thanks to mom. Time now for Gary's Life Fix, brought to you by Sandals Resorts. A wandering thought, your phone, a big life decision. Every day we're hit with countless distractions, but none bigger than stress. With more, we're joined by business and life strategist Gary Cox. So Gary, just how badly would you say stress can distract us from our goals? Well, it can take us totally off course, but there's some good stress and there's bad stress. So you need to know that there's controllable stress, stress that you can control. And most people, if you procrastinate, you're gonna have more stress, but if you plan things out, you can control that. Then there's uncontrollable stress. That's the stress that really throws us off course. Now, I'll tell you a little quick thing about the health benefit, if you will, of good stress. It is good for us to some degree. There used to be a fishery where they would send fish, live fish, from one coast to the other, and while the time the fish got to the other end of the coast, it would die, so they lost you know, money. Before they put in the next shipment, they put in a small fish that was different from the other fish. That fish moved around. It caused stress on the bigger fish, and by the time they got to their destination, because they moved around and had a little bit of stress, they survived. So don't look at stress as all bad. We need some stress. It's the bad stress, if we're not careful, will get us off of course. That's really interesting, Gary. So how would you say we can counteract that stress and become more focused? Well, what I do is I write down my goals virtually every single day. I have about 30 goals that every day I rewrite them. So when if I get off of course, I'm able to go right back to that list and know exactly where I need to be. And if you don't have that list, you know, it's like going on the internet. You want to go to go look for something before you know it, an hour later, you're down another rabbit hole. So it enables me to focus. So write your goals down daily. I think it's very beneficial. Such a great tip, Gary. Thanks for helping us refocus. Look, I wouldn't blame you if you're already counting down the days until your next vacation. Maybe you're going somewhere tropical. Maybe you're going somewhere snowy and mountainous. What about renting a castle instead? According to an article in Business Insider, castle rental is on the rise, and they've listed some of the top castles you can rent. The least expensive, costing visitors about $717 per night, is a 19th century chateau in Mosels, France. With eight bedrooms, it sleeps 15, has a housekeeper, chef, gym, and a toy room with a private gate and your own personal road. For an average price of about $1,800, you and more than 20 others could vacation in North Wales but now features a banquet hall, football field, tower apartments, and a private chef. And finally, the most expensive castle for your vacation pleasure comes in at a minimum of over three grand per night. For this 14th century castle just on the border of Scotland, the Duns Castle offers art classes, wine tastings, housekeeping, and more. So, ladies and gentlemen, based on these pictures, you may want to ditch the tropics and consider a castle. It's a new year and we have no idea what to expect in terms of, well, almost anything. One thing that surprises us every year is baby name trends. But this year, parents are basing their kids' names on something different, social media. Yep, parents are checking Facebook and Twitter to make sure their name selections are available before officially giving the baby that name. According to an article by Market Watch, one mom wanted to name her daughter Bryn and wanted her middle name to start with the letter A. She ended up ditching the names Bryn Ava and Bryn Ann because they were already taken on Twitter. Relationship expert April Massini says it's all about digital presence. Millennial parents are wanting their kids to have relevant names and be present online very early on, including email addresses and YouTube channels in addition to social media handles. It also includes online communities. Some parents don't want their kids to have the same name if they're part of the same community. Most of the parents who base their child's name on social availability tend to agree that it's to make sure the child doesn't get lost in the social shuffle and risk losing opportunities later down down the line. So in a couple of years, these babies will say, thanks, mom and dad. More Top 30 after this.
Welcome back to Top 30. Worried about interacting with police? Well, there's an app for that. As part of its iOS 12 launch, Apple released Shortcuts, an app that lets users create custom commands for Siri to carry out. One shortcut in particular is drawing attention. Police turns iPhones into covert civilian body cams. It's triggered when users say, hey Siri, I'm getting pulled over. From there, the shortcut alerts one of your contacts, sending them your exact location. Police then pauses music, puts your phone in do not disturb mode, and uses the front facing camera to record your interaction, saving it to Dropbox or the cloud. The Shortcuts creator says it just seemed a good idea to empower the individual citizen to have a record over what happens during a stop to remove any he said, she said scenarios. Users seem to agree police is one of the most popular shortcuts shared on Reddit. And that's it for today's show. Thank you for watching. Here's what's coming up on the next Top 30. Americans are getting more robocalls than ever. We'll have tips to stop the scammers. Plus, a financial expert tells us the best New Year's resolutions for your wallet and how to keep them. And the 50th anniversary of Woodstock could be the hottest ticket of 2019. You can also listen to the day's biggest stories on the Top 30 podcast. It's all coming up on the next Top 30.